What's up guys, I'm back here with another episode of best Android launchers and in this series of video I explore new launchers and do in-depth reviews on them. So let's go ahead and jump into the review. The first one here is the high launcher. So this launcher provides the iOS look and feel to your Android device. As you can see the icons and even the transition between the pages really fast and smooth all right and you even have this search page okay that you get with the ios so the search bar works really great since this is an ios style launcher we don't have an app drawer so that means anything installed directly comes to the home screen no room for widgets and so on so as you can see here we have this high sms high music and this control center so this is the built-in application that the launcher provides you can download this from the play store and this replaces your stock messaging application and you can use it if you want to so guys with this launcher we don't have too much of customization options but we still can apply themes to this launcher let's get into menu and under theme you know you can go ahead and download additional themes online so right now i'm using the ios 7 theme let's go ahead and check some additional themes online so there you see guys this is what i'm using right now you can go ahead and download additional themes for your launcher and guys the coolest thing about this launcher is this launcher also provides the ios lock screen so for that hit the menu button go into launcher settings and here you need to enable this i launcher lock screen so enable it and you can uh, just disable the system lock screen okay because if you enable it you'll have both the lock screen the ios lock screen as well as the stock lock screen so let's disable it and now we go back locking the phone unlocking it and there you see slide to unlock the time date and the day and you even can launch your camera from here so there you see it works perfect no issues at all a fully functional launcher so guys a very very simple launcher no lags no force closes everything is working really fine with the ios look and feel to the android device so apart from all these theming and the iOS lock screen, you also can change the wallpapers, hide applications, launcher settings as I've already mentioned. And this is for the system settings. So that's all for this uh, launcher guys. I'll definitely suggest you guys to try this launcher if you like the iOS look and feel. So that's my number one. So the next one here is the QQ launcher. So this is the QQ launcher. And this is a very fancy launcher with lots of customization options from themes, to icons to lock screen and so on so first let's talk about the ui as you can see these icons i have seen these icons on the spice pinnacle android smartphone so this launcher is really smooth and fast okay very very responsive even with all these transition effects and so on it's really really smooth so i will come to the transition effects and the customization part in a moment so let's get into this app drawer so here you have all your applications sorry guys okay and there you see this question mark uh, this is for the tutorial on how to use this launcher for the first time okay and there you see you have all the basic tutorials and tips for this launcher so here you have all your applications this is to launch the play store and this is the search tool the search tool works really great on this app drawer to find any of your application so there you see and if you want to customize your app drawer hit the menu button go into effects and from here you can change the animation that is the transition animation say for example roll there you see really smooth no issues at all you also can have all your application in this list view as in this list mode you can go back to grid mode again you can uh, sort icons and create new folder on the app drawer we also have some built-in widgets with this launcher like this memory management and the toggle so you can uh, clear your memory like this and this launcher also supports theme, custom lock screen. So let's talk about it. Hit the menu button and you have uh, additional options like edit, preview, theme, preferences. And this is what helps us to customize this launcher. So let's first get into themes. So you also can download additional themes online as you can see here. So you can download them. You also can download additional themes from the Play Store like i have downloaded this blue flame so let's apply going back so there you see guys new icons 
and uh, you also can add widgets and stuff tap and hold and you can go to effects that is for changing the home screen transition effects themes this is for applying themes changing the wallpapers and from here under add you have folder qq widgets and desktop widgets so there you see this is the built-in widget that you get with this launcher so let's change the transition effect of the home screen let's use rotate okay so this is what we are using i'm going back there you see really smooth really responsive no lags at all let's head on over to the launcher settings that is the preferences and here you can enable the lock screen that you get with this launcher so let's enable it and you also can customize your lock screen that is uh, you can enable lock screen and then you can enable lock screen vibration so, so now locking the device unlocking it this is for the previous launcher so this is what you get with the QQ launcher very similar to the MIUI lock screen you can uh, go to your dialer launch your camera go to messaging and unlock your device so this is how it works going back this is the desktop screen settings you can hide programs and that is applications you can enable wallpaper scrolling you can uh, choose the number of rows and columns that is you can set the grid size for your home screen uh, screen with effects as in a screen switch effect that is the transition effect you also have this application settings so this is for hiding applications and so on you also can uh, change the themes and stuff from this skin effect and this is for the desktop theme and you also can change the theme for your lock screen from this lock menu so there you see you can download additional lock screen themes from online uh, as well as you can download them from the play store apart from that there's nothing much very fancy and very stylist so that's my number two the last one for this video is the listener launcher so this is what you get this is the ui of this launcher very simple very minimal and completely different from all the other launchers here you have your wi-fi details the temperature the time the date and the day and you can add additional shortcuts at this side so first of all you have this blank screen so you can either press the menu button or the back button to get into your app drawer so this is how it works this is to get into the system settings and this is to get into the launcher settings so i will come back to it in a second so guys on your home page if you make a swipe down from the top you'll have your status bar view and again if you pull it down twice you'll get your a notification bar so you can set the orientation for this launcher and you also can change the theme for this launcher you have by default these two themes one is the dark and one is the light let's apply this light theme so this is what you get going back to the preferences and here you can customize your main screen so we have the full screen mode enabled going back you can customize your app application drawer from here the columns rows and so on you can uh, manage your hidden applications and uh, this is what you can add on your home screen like for the call i have my dialer similarly you can add additional applications here like sms for sms you need to go on to sms enable it first and bind the application for sms you need to bind the messaging application so there you see again you also can add calendar gmail mail reader twitter facebook and so on so guys this is what this launcher provides very simple very minimal some might love it some might hate it nothing too much to customize and one thing i really wish to have in this launcher is the wallpaper feature if we could add wallpaper on the home screen that would be amazing but nevertheless you guys can play around with this launcher so that's all for this launcher guys so that's all for this video guys stay tuned for upcoming videos and you guys have a great day bye bye now